My friends, I have several varied topics to tell you about today with a little bit of video footage as well and show you the second to the last project that I'll be working on, not to mention some personal good news. And we'll get to all that right after this. friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop. It is Tuesday, May 23rd, which reminds me that we'll be at Dickie's Barbecue Pit in Rolla, Missouri jamming this evening. Hopefully we'll have a little better turnout than we had last week. It was uh, pretty sparse last week. My understanding was they had a lot of uh, high school activities last week and that may have been what kept everybody away. I really don't know for sure. So my first uh, personal news, I'll just tell you that as of last night, I weighed exactly 200 pounds, which is 23 pounds better than I started the year. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm on my way to 190 and I may even stretch my goal down to about 185. But uh, right now I'm, I'm, I'll be happy if I get to the 190 and can hold it there. How am I doing that? Well, I, I learned a while back that every time my elbow bends, I gain a pound. <laughs> So I quit bending my elbow so much. <laughs> no, I just really haven't changed too much other than cutting out most of the breads. The breads, the cakes, the cookies, that kind of thing. Uh, so mostly cutting out the carbohydrates, uh, eating high protein type diet. So I'm eating, you know, eggs and meat and dried fruits or dried uh, berries, I should say, and uh, nuts and things like that. That's pretty much all I'm eating right now. And it works for me because I have the strangest taste in the world anyway, as you already know. I don't eat any vegetables at all, zero, none, not, not even a pickle. So this diet really is not a problem for me. Uh, and I'm not, I don't feel hungry, so everything's working out just fine. And this morning, before I turned the camera on, I decided to turn a different camera on and take a drive back through the farm and drive all the way back to that uh, new pond that I built last year. Or I should say that I finished building last year. You'll hear a little more about that in the video itself. I took some fish food with me and threw it out and uh, didn't get a lot of takers, but at the end, after I turned the camera off, they started hitting it a little bit. Here's the video footage. I hope you enjoy it. My friends, I thought we'd just take a little drive back to the pond in the back. And I think we're going to go via the trail that's right here. It goes up over this ridge and then down in that valley and then around. And we parallel the field way out there to where the pond is. So that's the direction we're going, just so you know. And I'll keep the camera on as we drive this.
Well, here we are back at the uh, back pond. And again, if you don't know, this is a spring-fed pond. This is a pond that I built from scratch. The spring flowed right through the middle of this. I had the spring piped around it about 15 years ago or so. And I was digging this out. Then it came a torrential rain, filled in the hole, and messed up the spring, so I just gave up on it for years. And then recently, just a year ago or so, I saw fish swimming around in this pool of water, although it wasn't near this big. It was a very small pool of water. And I thought, boy, I need to go ahead and finish that now since there's fish in there. So I went ahead and finished it, and or it's nearly finished. There's still a little bit of work I could do on it but I put in a uh, overflow over here that you can probably see and so the spring comes in over here under these big trees and flows across basically and flows out the other side then it goes in a ditch down through the field and over to the main creek we did stock some additional fish in here last fall uh, bass, bluegill, uh, grass carp, catfish. So I'm going to throw some uh, feed out here. Don't know if they'll hit it. I doubt it because this is the first time I've thrown any feed out here. So at least since we stocked it. I really doubt we'll see any fish hitting this, but you don't ever know. if you can see it or not but it like this camera likes to keep everything level but there is the uh, overflow and the water's flowing in there like crazy it's quite a quite a flow actually I don't see any f activity on the surface Don't see any activity, unfortunately. I wished I would see them hitting that a little bit. It'd be kind of nice. Probably not very good camera work right now with the camera pointed toward the sun. Maybe if you listen close, you can hear all the wildlife and you can hear the water streaming out. don't know if you'll be able to see it, but the fish are starting to hit the surface out here. And they've hit it quite a few times as I've been standing here. So I think they are eating it a little bit. Just takes a while for them to get used to food like that when you throw it out. So the first time, second time, you know, maybe not so much. But after that, they probably start hitting it a lot more. Well, my wife planted corn and uh, sunflowers. Those are all sunflowers over there, I think, and all corn through here. And I think this is all the old heritage type stuff that uh, people saved the seeds for years and years ago and regrew it time and time again. I think that's what this is. The modern corn doesn't work that way. <laughs> so uh, this is the good old stuff, if you will.
Well, while I was back there, my friends, I decided to look for some artifacts in that new little garden plot area that uh, my wife put out with the uh, corn and the sunflowers. And the very first rock I located was this one. And, you know, 80% of you will say that's just a rock, and 80% of you could be right. And I'm only about 80% sure myself that this is an artifact. And so why do I think this little weird looking rock is an artifact? Well, it's got, it's got an, ed, a, an edge right here, and we call that a worked edge because there's flaking. And there's flaking down to the edge, and there's a large flake across this way. And I know that's going to be very hard to see in the camera, but there, you can probably see that large flake. And this kind of rock doesn't break naturally in flakes like that. And people call it, the modern buzzword for it is uh, flint napping, but uh, I call it flaking because I, I think flaking is more descriptive of what's actually happening. You're just knocking little tiny flakes off of the rock. And I do think this could have easily been a large scraper or some kind of a hoe or something. You can see how it's broke off flush there and broke off flush here. Now, these breaks are just smooth. See, there's no flaking in those breaks. And I, conversely, I've just brought a large rock similar to this that's just broken and all the breaks are just pretty much flat, smooth breaks. You don't see evidence of flaking. Now, it doesn't mean that they're perfectly flat. I mean, there's some little undulations and things in the rock when it breaks, but it doesn't have the characteristics of the flaking itself. And so the flaking is different. And so I would say there's a at least 80% chance this is a Native American artifact. And I may be the second human on Earth to hold this rock in my hand. The first one was probably several thousand years ago. I found another one that's, you know, even less likely to be, but it is possible because it does look to be flaked also. And it is also round on the one edge, which could indicate that it was a larger piece that was a scraper or something like that. So I found that one as well. Can't say for sure. People bring me rocks all the time, especially when they're here on the farm, and they say, uh, is this an artifact? And I can generally, within a second, go, nope. Sorry, it's not, you know, or that one's got possibility. And that's kind of the way these two rocks are. They're just possibilities. And this one, this bigger piece, I'd say it's a very good possibility, partly because it's a quality piece of rock. It's the same kind of material throughout. Um, this one here, sort of the same thing, but not quite as quality piece of rock. So that's why I would say there's less chance on this one, better chance on this one, but like I said, eight out of 10 of you could just be right. It could just be a rock. <laughs> Here's the next project that I'm working on. Where have we seen this before? Another Gibson with that adjustable bridge. I already took the bridge off of it yesterday. So we're moving right along. So I'm maybe 25% finished with this one already. And I'll get it all together and get you a video out, hopefully, well, maybe not this weekend, but very soon. I think that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're in the area and you can come by Dickie's this evening, we'd sure love to have you there. We'll see you tomorrow.